Good morning, everybody. It's a Savage Stacker. Finally, I made a video in the middle of the day so I don't have to be quiet. I know my voice is going to be a little deeper and a little more loud than normal, but hey, I can talk without trying to be quiet. It's amazing. Okay, so I know that a lot of you have been wondering what's going on lately. I haven't been making any videos, and I've been a busy, busy bee. I have been all over the state of California. I have been looking for trucks, and we're talking like Peterbilt's, Kenworth, truck trucks, right? Um, semis, well, Super 10s. And um, I'm starting to um, build a trucking company, and um, that's going to cost me some money. And this is how I save my money right here, so obviously I am going to have to sell quite a bit of my metals in order to accomplish this goal in my life. And this opportunity came to me over the last couple of weeks. Um, buddy of mine, best friend, known since I was a kid, got the same opportunity and the guy asked, well, you got anybody else who wants to jump on board on this? And um, he said, yeah, I only got one person I would ever trust to do this situation because he's a hard worker and he would, he would thrive up here. So, Building this business is going to constitute a move into an area that I would way rather live. And um, it's all pluses. There is a couple negatives, not much, um, but it's gonna be hard work and a lot of uh, trying to just keep a business going. You know, that's, that's uh, you go from being an employee where somebody provides you to work to being your own boss to where you gotta go and find the work. And you gotta build a reputation. So, you know, um, starting at the bottom, you know, it's kind of, uh, kind of hard sometimes, but hey, I've started over at the bottom my whole life, so I have no problems starting over again to build a grid reputation in the trucking industry. And that is what I'm gonna do. So what this is gonna cost me is just some startup money to go put a down payment on a truck. I have great credit. I've worked on that my whole life. Um, the la well, not my whole life, but the last, you know, five or six years and got it straightened out. And it's gonna cost me about 30 or 40 grand to uh, put a down payment on this truck. And so with that comes going through my metals and trying to find out what I'm gonna sell. And as of right now, I need to pull out 600 ounces of silver and 10 ounces of gold. That is 30 grand right there. I already got a buyer. I already got the whole th thing figured out. And that is what I've been doing lately is making sure I can get rid of the metals, make sure that the guy will accept cash for the truck, for the down payment, and that I can get the loan because I don't want to go into this blind and that I can't get the loan and then I've sold all my metals. I, I don't want to do that. There's no starting over doing this. So that is what I got going on right now. And I know I've been talking about my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, but it's coming. I got a lot going on right now. We will get to it, I promise. Um, I just, I got a lot on my plate right now. We will get to it. You know, I always wondered what I wanted to be when I grow up. <laughs> I'm 45 years old and uh, just figuring that out. And before I get too old, I want to at least to be able to put 15 to 20 years into this trucking company before my kids can take it over or I sell it or I just keep employees driving my trucks while I just go around and make sure everything's running smoothly. And that's the plan. And um, I'm hoping that it gets that far and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give it my all and that's what I'm going to do. So the purpose of this video is here we go. We got to sell metals at the low part of the market. Kind of sucks, but this is what I wanted to do. It kind of sucks that it's, the economy is kind of weird right now. It, it sucks that um, silver and gold are low, but it's an investment into my children's future, my future, my wife's future. And um, that's all I ever wanted is just a better means to a beautiful end and save some money and just put my kids through college and that type of stuff and leave my kids something. As of right now, I don't have nothing to leave them. A bunch of metals, which they'll probably nickel and dime away um, if something was to ever happen to me. <clears throat> so I'm excited to get this going. I put in a lot of work this last two weeks trying to get this figured out. 
I've driven all over California, talked to a lot of people, a lot of people about work and contracts and all those things, and it looks like it's a go. It looks like I'm gonna be able to do this. So I'm very, very happy to be able to share that with you guys. And um, this is why we do this. This is why we stack precious metals. We stack this so it can be used at a later date. That's why we do it. This is our savings account. Um, there's no other reason to do it, really, in my eyes. I mean, just sit around with a bunch of metals unless there's a way to progress in life. And that's what I'm all about, progression. If people are out there and they're just stuck in their ways and they don't want to progress or they don't want to move forward one step in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, and just always trying to better themselves, then miss me. I don't really, I don't really want them in my life because I'm, I'm all about progression and trying to grow wealth, grow your family, grow, you know, just spiritual growth and, and all the different ways you can grow. That is what I'm about. And, um, you know, people, some people like to drag people down and I just, I'm not going to get involved in their drama. And uh, I'm always, you know, I'm about trying to, you know, better my life. And um, I hope a lot of you out there are, are as well. So the next video will be probably me showing everybody exactly what I'm going to sell and trying to find a proper price point for those items for that daily market. Um, I already have a buyer who told me, figure out what you're going to sell. Let me know what you're going to do. I will take care of you the best I can. Um, give me the best for your, for your bang for your buck. And that way I can maximize my yield and um, put a better down payment on, on, on the rig. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of going through my stuff and trying to figure out what it is I'm going to sell. Nader bars, all going to be gone, right? IGR bars, all going to be gone. All this stuff that I have been accumulating that's generic stuff, all going to be gone. I am going to save a couple things for people that I promised to sell to them. You know, you know who you are if you see this bar. You know who you are. Um, a few things, you know, uh, that I told people I would never sell. If I ever did, I would sell it to them, that type of thing. And my vintage is definitely not getting sold. Um, quite a bit of stuff not getting sold. I have a few thousand ounces. I'm not getting rid of everything. I still have stuff to fall back on, but I don't like covering up the American flags there. Put those over there. So I'm going to go through all this stuff and see what I'm gonna dump here. And um, I don't wanna piece it out, go through the community and do one bar here, one bar there. I know it would help a lot of people out, but I just don't have the time to do that. We're looking at trying to be up and running, insurance, registration, all the things scaled out, um, you know, get uh, inspections done and everything by April 1st, which means I have to go get this truck, pay for this truck, do all the stuff to it, make sure it's got the proper tires and brakes and everything's inspected and ready to go and ready to be working by April 1st. So I got a month and um, I don't have time to be, you know, waiting for PayPal's and money and all these things. And um, in a perfect world, it would work out like that so I can make more money off of it. But this isn't a perfect world and things happen fast when you're trying to jump into a business you know, if works right around the corner, you gotta go with the flow. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I am getting rid of quite a bit of stuff, 600 ounces of silver. I thought about buying, selling just all silver or just selling all gold, but I don't wanna do that. I like to mix and match that up. So it will be 600 ounces of silver and 10 ounces of gold, which is roughly $30,000. And um, and hopefully it all works out. That's uh, you know, a lot of praying going on lately, trying to make sure that things work out. So what do you think about selling precious metals? What do you think, has, you, everybody, has anybody out there even thought about that? Like selling off half of your metals to do something to better your life, right? Have you even thought about that? Or I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people, they find a good job and they just hold it down. They stay there their whole life and, you know, and they're just they're just set in their ways and I don't I don't really have much of a retirement you know the biggest portion would be my stack so for me the option is either fall back on this or go start a business 
while I still can and um, try to, you know, put 15 years in and, and start a good life for my young children. And um, being 45 and having young children, you know, I still got a lot of work to do, so I ain't going to be able to retire probably until I'm 65, maybe even longer than that. So got a lot of work to do. All right. So what do you guys do? Have anybody thought about doing that? Have you had to sell a big portion of your stack? Have you uh, thought about, you know, progressing in your life by using your stack? You know, that's a big, it's a big one. I mean, it, it kind of scares me. I'm like, I've spent all this time stacking this up. Now I'm going to be getting rid of a big portion of it. What if it don't work out? What if I, what if the bank has, to, what if I don't have any work and the bank has to take back this truck? I've lost big chunk right but I'm more of a hustler than that I'm not gonna let myself fall um, and uh, I'm gonna hustle work anywhere I can and um, you know I've done construction pretty much my whole life and trucking and all that stuff also in the food industry I've been a butcher before but <clears throat> I know where the money's at if I need to I'll go buy a bobcat and just do demo work and fill my truck up recycle you know, the uh, concrete and go back at it and just do driveways or something if I have to. If this whole bigger trucking company thing don't work out. So I'm, I'm going for it. I'm actually going for it. I've been talking about this for like three or four years. And the whole point of getting my Class A driver's license to begin with was to buy a truck. But I don't want to do long haul. Um, there's just not enough money in it no more. They track every mile, every cent. There's just not enough money in it anymore. Back in the day, my uncle owned trucks. You could go for a week straight without sleeping and just stack as much money as you could and then take a week off, right? It ain't like that no more. Every mile counts. Every second, every minute counts on the road. You know, that's it's money. And uh, if you're downtime or if you're tired or, you know, something happens with a family, you got to take time off, that is dollars. And in the construction field... There are jobs that pay very, very good, and there's some that don't, you know, and you just try to find the better money, and you can make good money in a less amount of time, and you get you get family time home a lot every night, so that's the field I wanted to go into, dump trucking, or um, even end dumps, they were good too, but, so that's what I wanted to do, and that's what we're doing here, we're going to sell this stuff to build a trucking company, and, um, Man, you know, I've been praying a lot that this works out. All right, guys, thank you all for coming by and sticking with me. I will get out more videos, I promise. I've just had a lot on my plate. I'm very excited about this new chapter in my life. And um, and I will bring you guys along with me. I will. I, I totally will. Um, I don't think I'm going to bring a camera in when I go to sell all this stuff. I don't want to log everything I do. But... Uh, I will definitely let everybody know what I'm selling and when I sell and, you know, how the whole situation went down. I will definitely do that. If I did a small sell, like, you know, 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks, I would probably bring a camera with me. But going that big, I'm not going to do that. So that's how that's going to work. But uh, I will share the experience with you. I'm just not going to video it. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. It is a Savage Stack. And remember to hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Savage Stackers, over and out.